Hey, what's up guys? Trail here, better known as Budget Build, and this is your third stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Friday, January the 22nd. Good morning everyone and happy Friday. Today we want to talk about the bigger push from Bernie Sanders in getting a massive stimulus package that would include larger stimulus checks. Also, how Bernie is in charge of one of the most powerful positions in Washington now and Republicans don't like it. And we have some updated news on when the 15% snap boost increase is coming for a few states. And we also have a few more executive orders signed by President Biden. Those are just some of the topics that we are going to cover today. But if this is your first time to the channel, hey, welcome and glad to have you. On this channel, we talk about finance, real estate, credit cards, and stimulus news. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that like button for me if you enjoy this type of content. It doesn't cost you a single dime for me bringing you information and all I ask is just a simple press of the like button as it really helps out the channel. Now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. What's up everyone and boy are things really heating up for this new White House administration. 17 executive orders on the first day were signed in office and even more were signed just yesterday. President Biden is really aggressive towards reversing several of President Trump's Trump's policies from his administration. And we obviously expected that to happen. I believe Trump did the same thing to several of Obama's policies as he got sworn into office. Seems like that's just the normal theme for the incoming president. But the most important executive orders that President Biden signed was for the eviction moratorium, the foreclosure moratorium, and the student loan deferral. This will give the economy more time to deal with this pandemic and make additional changes in the near term, extending the eviction moratorium by two months to March 31st, and extending the student loan deferral program through the end of September. A lot of Americans are upset with Biden because they were hoping that his first executive order was going to be for the $2,000 stimulus checks that he promised last month. But unfortunately, that stimulus bill is going to take more than 24 hours being in office. But never mind that, let's go ahead and talk about Bernie Sanders because he is calling for a massive stimulus package. But first, let's talk about his lovely inaugural attire. I know y'all have been seeing the memes out there. They have been hilarious. I just can't stop laughing at them. That's why I had to use it in my thumbnail. Let me know what you guys think about that. Now, y'all know that Bernie was selected in the Biden administration as the Senate Budget Committee Chair. This is one of the most powerful positions in Washington, and Bernie Sanders got the job. This is like a Republican's worst nightmare. Bernie wants to spend more money to help Americans and the people in this country, and Republicans don't want to spend any money when it comes to helping the American people out. So, we already know there are going to be some problems with this relationship. But on Tuesday, after Joe Biden was sworn in, Bernie Sanders was interviewed and he was asked how he felt about the new president and his new role in the Senate. Bernie responded and said, uh... It was okay, but it's now time to go to work. Bernie is ready to hit the trail and make things happen over the next four years. Bernie is calling for a massive stimulus bill more than before. Bernie continues to urge Biden to make the $2,000 stimulus checks a reality or even be more open to larger stimulus checks. He wants President Biden to make this his number one priority in his first week in office. Bernie told reporters that he hopes one of the first things that Biden does as the president is to sign another virus relief bill. And Bernie wants the next bill to be much more generous in helping the American public cope with the ongoing impact of this pandemic. Bernie believes that we need to take swift action in getting additional relief aid to those who need it the most. Although some believe the GOP Republicans will stand in the way of quick progress. But Bernie said having GOP support is not necessary. It appears that Bernie just wants to bring in the bulldozer and plow right through with executive changes for the American people. Even though our democracy is set up to be approved by both parties. Bernie says that they don't need the GOP 
GOP to support more stimulus aid, they have enough to pass legislation without large support from the Republicans. Which is way much different from President Biden's stance. Biden wants to work with his old colleagues in the Senate, and he wants the third stimulus package to be bipartisan. Not to just take advantage of their majority power in the House and the Senate, he wants both sides to come together in a bipartisan way and pass legislation on stimulus relief aid for the American people, while also fighting the virus and restoring the fractured economy. Now, in addition, there is a former economic advisor by the name of Kevin Hassett that also supports President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion rescue package. He believes the package is well crafted and that it will keep the pandemic infected economy afloat. Hassett fears that without more stimulus aid from Washington, the worsening pandemic will cause the U.S. economy to suffer. In a statement with CNN Business, Hassett said, there are so many businesses treading water, barely hanging on. Now they are getting hit by another shock. He said, you could end up in a negative spiral for the economy if you don't provide more stimulus aid. So not only do you have de Democrats supporting this $1.9 trillion package and Bernie Sanders pushing for even more stimulus relief aid, you also have one of Trump's people supporting this bill as well. After all, things are not getting better when it comes to the pandemic and how many lives are lost each day in this country. Biden came out yesterday and said that we will probably see 500,000 deaths by next month. That's half of a million, y'all. That's just insane. I mean, this virus just won't let up. The Stanford University Hoover Institution made a statement that the disease is spreading in a remarkable and scary rate. But like I said, wear your mask and don't forget, Biden has mandated mask wearing at all federal buildings. And also Biden has also come out and signed an executive order requiring masks for all travelers. This will apply to airports, uh, on planes, trains, ferries, inner city buses, and public transportation. This guy is really trying to fight this virus head on. Definitely much different leadership from the previous administration. But what do you guys think? Do you think that masks should be required everywhere? How about when you go outside? What are your thoughts on this? For some people, it's actually become a part of fashion. It seems like Nancy Pelosi has a different color or design mask on every day to match her outfit. I ain't trying to do all that, but I just need a comfortable mask to put on my face that I can actually breathe out of. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about that. Now, let's move on to the SNAP food stamp benefits. Those of you that live in Massachusetts, they are offering the increased SNAP boost increase for the million residents who receive federal food assistance in this state. The residents will get more money to spend on groceries starting in early February as the hunger crisis in this country increases. The federal stimulus package that passed last month by Congress increased the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program benefits by 15% across the country from January through the end of June. They are saying that this increase would be an additional $27 per person per month in for the people that live in Massachusetts. So if you have a family of five, that will be an additional $135 per month. I told you guys about this 15% increase was passed and a lot of you have been telling me in the comments section that you didn't receive any increase in your January SNAP benefits that was distributed to you. Well, it appears that states are finally rolling these out across the country and Massachusetts will be receiving theirs next month. Also, if you live in Texas, Governor Abbott announced that you should start receiving your additional 15% increase for the January payout, which I believe is on the 23rd of this month. So that should be tomorrow. For those of you that live in New York, you will receive the 15% increase in a separate distribution. And those are just a few. Once I find out about other states and when they will be receiving the increase of the 15% SNAP food stamp benefits, I will let you guys know. Do we have anyone watching this channel that lives in Massachusetts or Texas or New York? If so, give me a shout out in the comments section. I'll be sure to respond back to you. Other than that, hey, that's all I have for you today. This is your third stimulus check update news for today. If you enjoyed any of this information or found it to be useful, be sure to hit the like button for me. It definitely helps out a lot and it tells the YouTube gods to share this video with others. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for me so you can be a part of this community and hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video. 
other than that hey i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and i hope to see you on the next video peace